Hi guys, this is Short. In today's video, we are going to check out uh, this Parkside PHDS 110A1 silent pressure washer. First, I'm going to unbox it, then, we will have a look how it operates. Um, in the picture or on screen, you will see some information about the pressure washer. So, without any further ado, let's roll. Alright, so in the box there was the machine itself, then a bit of rainforest in a plastic bag with some accessories in it. So I will need to check out the user manual, um, what are those for. Then there is some more attachment, I think for the lens, it's like a lens holder or something similar. There is a foam cannon or foamer rather, uh, the lens and the gun. And also it has a turbo nozzle and it has some hose pipe to it.
Okay, boys and girls, that was the Parkside's new silent pressure washer. I have to say, it's definitely more silent than my Krenzel. Um, however, at the Krenzel, I cannot hear the machine because I hear the water pressure as it comes off the, um, the sprayer or the orifice. And other than that, what could I say? I like the fact that it has a 5 meters electric wire and 8 meters of hose pipe. So if I just put it behind the car, I can go around the car without moving it. I was moving it for the sake of video, for the video, because obviously I, I can record from some funky angles. Uh, so I have to move in an odd way sometimes. And that's why, but otherwise I could do without moving. And this foamer, well it's not a foamer that comes with it, it's more like a sprayer so you can just apply some shampoo on the surface but it's not foaming at all. So if you want to have a proper foamer then you need to buy something like an MJJC or whatever, MTM, whatever brand. But whichever you buy, you need to buy one with the Lavor attachment or adapter, not the one that is on it right now because I put the one back that I use in, in the uh, Kranzel. So you need the one with the Lavor. Pressure-wise, it's weaker than the Karcher or Karcher uh, K3, but more powerful than the K2. Um, if you are in a hurry, then you shouldn't choose this machine because it was not really uh, a quick way that I could go around uh, the car. With the Kranzel, I could do it like one third or maybe even less. Uh, the time and also it because it doesn't have much of a pressure uh, compared to the uh, more powerful machines obviously it left shed loads of dirt on the surface as well so it, it is okay if you have lots of time and you want to play around uh, to wash the car at the weekend but um, yeah if you are in a hurry and uh, you prefer more power then this one is not for you other than that in its price range it's okay so for that purpose I can recommend and that concludes the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one bye bye